The Digestive System, written by Jennifer Pryor. Table of Contents. Eat your vegetables. Mom, do I have to eat my vegetables? Yes, honey, they're good for you. Why are they so good? They don't taste good. When you eat healthy food, it gives your body nourishment. What does that mean? Nourishment feeds your body so it can work the way it's supposed to. What happens to the food when we eat it? Well, the vitamins and other nutrients in the food get absorbed into the body. What does absorbed mean? It means they get soaked up into the bloodstream. But mom, how does that happen? You're stalling, eat your vegetables. Once you take a bite, your food begins an amazing journey through the digestive system. No guts, no glory. Human beings need food in order to feed the body. The healthier the body is, the better it is for your body. But what happens to food once we chew and swallow? Food is processed in the body by the digestive system. It is broken down into smaller and smaller pieces. Then it is absorbed into the body. This gives the body fuel to produce energy. We all know how food first gets into the body. We eat it. That's the first step in the process, but there is much more to know about digestion. GI tract. The digestive system is also called gastrointestinal tract or GI tract. Gastro refers to the stomach, intestinal refers to the intestines. The stomach and intestines are two important parts of the digestive system. The digestive system. The digestive tract is about 27 feet long. It begins with the mouth and it includes the pharynx and the esophagus. It also includes the stomach, the small intestine, and large intestine. Did you know that the digestive system knows when food is coming? This happens even before you eat. When you see, smell, or even think about a tasty treat, your brain tells your body to get ready for food. Your mouth starts to water and the digestive system gears up for a feast. Did you know that eating healthy foods, chewing well, exercise, getting plenty of exercise, and keeping a positive attitude all help your body to digest better? Complete digestive system. Tongue, pharynx, esophagus, liver, stomach, pancreas. Small intestine, large intestine. Mouth. The first step in the digestive process begins with the mouth. You use your teeth to chew food and break it up and break it into small pieces. Saliva in your mouth helps soften the food as it's chewed. This is because there are chemicals in saliva. They change the food. For example, they turn starches into simple sugars. Saliva breaks down the food into smaller pieces. Then the food is swallowed. When you chew, I'm sorry, when you swallow, the pharynx at the back of the mouth pushes the food into the esophagus. The best way, the best food to put in your mouth is food that tastes good and is good for you. It makes your mouth water. When people talk about their mouths watering, they mean that their mouths are producing saliva. Another way to say it is salivating. Esophagus. The esophagus is a tube made of muscle that connects the mouth to the stomach. Muc mucus glands line the inside of this tube. The mucus coats the food as it makes its way down. Food bits are moved down the tube by contractions. Contractions are like waves of movement. They move the food into the stomach. The contractions in the, esophag in the esophagus are called peristalsis. Peristalsis is the activity that moves the food down the esophagus to the stomach. Stomach. 
The stomach stores the food for a short time. It's like a pouch. The brain tells the stomach that the food is on its way. At that time, the stomach begins to make gastric juices. These juices are very acidic. They can break down the food and kill any bacteria that may be on the food. The gastric juices seep into the stomach and move around. Once, the stomach, once in the stomach, the food is mixed with these juices. They break down food even more. This is where, where most protein is digested. Most of it turns into liquid. Some foods are absorbed into the body through the stomach. Other foods continue through the digestive system. What is it? Protein is a basic part of all living things. Living things need protein to function properly and to grow. People get their protein through foods such as meat, fish, eggs, milk, cheese, nuts, and beans. The stomach. Many people think the stomach is located inside the belly, behind the belly button. It is actually higher up in the body than that, between the chest and the belly. How big and how much? A stomach is about 12 inches long. It's, the, it's widest part is about half that size. Do you know how much food or liquid an adult stomach can hold? It can hold about one quart. This diagram of the human stomach, this is the diagram of the human stomach. You can see that the esophagus empties into it. The small intestine is connected to the lower parts of the stomach. Nutrients from food are broken down into smaller and smaller particles until they can't be absorbed into the stomach lining. Partly digested food that isn't absorbed into the body empties out of the stomach. How the stomach digests food. The esophagus empties into the stomach, the stomach lining, the stomach produces acids which help break down food. There's some food. Excess food particles move into the small intestine. Closer look, nutrients are absorbed in the stomach lining. The intestines. Most foods continue into the intestines to digest. By the time the food reaches the small intestine, it has become a mixture called chyme. Chyme is made up of liquids and solids. In the small intestine, the digestive process slows down. It slows down most, it slows down because most of the digestion takes place there. This is where the, where the blood gets most of the nutrients from the food you eat. Chyme also mixes with enzymes from the pancreas. Enzymes are fluids that help digestion. Chyme also mixes with bile from the liver. Bile is a yellow-green fluid. It helps the body to absorb fat. Digested food is absorbed into the body. Undigested food moves through the small intestine. It heads to the large intestine, also called the colon. How long? The small intestine is more than 22 feet long. That's as long as a killer whale. Digestion beyond the stomach. Got your liver, pancreas, small intestine, large intestine. Completing the cycle. Esophagus, stomach, liver, small intestine, large intestine. Very little digestion happens in the large intestine. By the time food material reaches it, only a few more steps take place. First, any water remaining in the undigested food is absorbed by the body. The solid material passes through the large intestine. It forms feces. This is waste material. It is passed out of the body through the rectum. How big is it? The large intestine is wider than the small intestine, but shorter. It's about five feet long. That's about as long as a car is wide. When things go wrong, uh-oh, sometimes there are problems that happen in the digestive system. These problems can be quite uncomfortable. It's important to learn what causes these digestion problems so that you can prevent them. Riding a roller coaster is fun, but a bumpy ride can lead to digestion problems. Vomiting. 
Oh, have you ever been sick to your stomach? This can happen for many reasons. Sometimes a person vomits after eating spoiled foods. This is called food poisoning. Vomiting can also happen when someone eats too much or gets dizzy when spinning or running. Most commonly, people vomit because of certain illnesses, especially the flu. A person vomits because the brain sends a message that causes the stomach to contract rapidly. This causes the food or liquid in the stomach to be forced up and out of the mouth. Nauseated is another way of saying you feel sick to your stomach. Feeling nauseated is no fun. Heartburn. Heartburn is another problem that happens in the di digestive system. It is not related to the heart. It, it is usually caused by eating or drinking too much. Contractions occur in the esophagus. The result is a burning feeling in the throat. This is caused by acid from the stomach, which rises into the esophagus. Be careful not to eat too much at one sitting. Too much food can cause heartburn. Why is it called that? Heartburn may not be related to the heart, but people feel it in the area of the heart. That is why it's called heartburn. Ulcers. A stomach ulcer can be very painful. It is caused when the lining of the stomach gets weak. Then acid in the stomach bothers the lining and makes a sore. This creates a burning feeling. Ulcers, ulcers can also happen in the intestines. Indigestion. When a person has difficulty digesting food, it's called indigestion. Indigestion is, uncomfor is an uncomfortable feeling in the digestive system. Sometimes, it sometimes causes heartburn. Gas. Gas in the digestive tract can happen for different reasons. Often we allow, we uh, often we swallow air when eating and drinking. The air gets trapped in our digestive tract. Most swallowed air comes out by burping. Many foods cause gas. This happens when they are being digested. Broccoli, cabbage, beans, and fruit are just a few foods that cause gas. Even pasta and dairy products can cause gas. Bacteria break down these foods. This creates gas. The gas is called methane. It leaves the body through the, through the rectum. Most people pass gas 14 to 23 times a day. Certain foods are more likely to cause than others. If a food gives you gas, it's best not to eat it, or at least not very much. Gas and soda. You've probably had a good long burp after drinking a can of soda. This is because of the gas that is in the soda. It's called carbonation. When you think, when you drink a, carbonate, a carbonated beverage, there's a good chance you'll have some gas to go with it. Lettuce and cabbage can cause gas. What amazing machine. Problems can happen, but most of the time we don't even think about the digestive system. It just keeps working whether we're, we think about it or not. The next time you think about food, remember that digestion is already beginning in your body. When you eat your next meal, think about the process that is taking place inside you. It is a process that helps your body be strong and healthy. The body is truly an amazing machine and the digestive system is an important part that keeps the machine going. Glossary index about the author. The digestive system.